This is how to loom a panda bear or bear hat. You will, of course, need black and white yarn. You'll double it up if you would like to have it furry. Buy some furry yarn. Um, if you want to do just a regular bear, just get brown and brown furry yarn if you'd like. First, we're going to start off with a red loom and we're going to cast on 31 pegs with a drawstring cast on. So you want to weave the yarn in and out, back and forth, all the way around. And once you get all the way around, you're going to flip over every other peg. to put a loop on every single peg. And what we're doing is we're working from the top of the hat to the bottom of the hat. There's a reason why we're doing a drawstring cast on. Now that we're at the beginning, you're just going to do a regular E-wrap of 31 pegs. We're working circularly. So E wrap 31 pegs. Also, if you'd like this in a larger size, this is a baby size. If you want to do this in a larger size, I will post those on my blog so that you can get those sizings to make either an adult or a child size as well. Go ahead and flip the bottom loop over. Okay, and what you want to do is you want to e-wrap all 31 pegs for five more rows with a total of six e-wrapped rows. So go ahead and do that. And we'll do the ears next. Now we want to e-wrap six pegs. And then you're going to stop. Go ahead and toss the bottom loops over. And then you're going to change color to your black. Now if you're doing a regular bear, you don't have to change colors here, but you're fixing to start your ear. So go ahead and change the colors. Also, if you want your ears to be a little bigger than this, you want to add a row on the bottom. So we're fixing to e-wrap six pegs for two rows. You'll do it for three on both sides. So now we're going to be working flat in between these six pegs, these next six pegs. So go ahead and e-wrap six pegs for two rows. This is row one. And then this is row two. And again, if you want a bigger ear, you want to go back to the right one more row. And now we're going to do four pegs for four rows, and those are four pegs in between the two outer pegs, as you can see. And that's row one, and this is row two. Row three. row four. And then you want to go back and do six pegs for two rows. And again, if you want to do the larger ear, go ahead and add a row. So there's one. Two. And if you want an extra row, three. And it should put you right back to where you're at. And you're going to tie off your black and 
because you didn't cut your white off, you can continue on with your white. This saves you from having to cut and tie, cut and tie. So go ahead and tie the black off. And go back over those six with your white. And you're going to end up e wrapping a total of 13 pegs. So there's six and then seven. And you're going to stop. Go ahead and toss all those over. And we'll start working the second ear. Change colors back to your black. Make sure you don't cut the white yarn. It's not necessary. And go ahead and e-wrap six pegs for two rows, four pegs for four rows, and six pegs for two rows. Tie off the black and finish up the row with your white. Alright, change back to your color and e-wrap 12 pegs and you have finished that row. You've now just done your ears. The rest of the hat's going to be really easy. So what you want to do is you want to e-wrap, keep circular for 31 pegs for a total of 14 rows. So go ahead and e-wrap. 31, 14 rows. Now you're going to want to e-wrap 12 pegs after you've done that. And then you're going to need your crochet hook. I'm using a larger crochet hook because this is where the face is and you want there to be a larger cast on area so it's easy to come and put on the hat. You want to cast off a total of seven loops. So there's one. You want to put that on, pull through, wrap it, pull through. Do that for a total of seven pegs. And you want to put that loop on the next peg that has a loop already on it, and then e wrap seven, which will be a total of eight pegs you should be tossing over. Now you want to cast off eight pegs with your crochet hook. What we're doing is an ear flap hat. If you don't want to, you can just cast off all pegs at this point. You don't have to do this section if you do not want to. But we're doing ear flaps. So go ahead and e wrap, go ahead and cast off eight. And then put that loop on and e-wrap seven pegs. You will have a total of eight pegs you're working with and we're going to start our flap for one ear. And what we're going to do is we're going to decrease by one on each end, which should give you a total of six pegs. So there's one. And then there's the other decrease.
and you want to go in and do two rows. So here's row one. Toss both loops over on those decreased ends. But here's row one. And E wrap the second row. Decrease by one on each end, like you did previously, and this should give you a total of four pegs. Go ahead and E wrap two rows there, so this will be row one, not both loops over. wrap one more row and you're going to decrease by one on each end again e wrap for two rows this is row one toss both loops over and e wrap again put the next one over decrease by one Toss the bottom loop over, snip the end, and pull it through. And there's your flap. Now it's time to do the other side, and what I do is repeat everything just like I did with that one. I do a slip knot to create my first loop. and I'm starting from left to right so I'm starting on the left end and then E wrapping seven pegs which should give you a total of eight and do the exact same thing decrease on each side E wrap two rows decrease on each side E wrap two rows do that until you're down to one, snip it and pull it through. And now you're done with your loom, so go ahead and stretch the hat out and draw string the top. And all you should have to do is pull it and it pulls all those loops together and you're going to turn it inside out to tie off And you're going to be sewing those ears up, but first you want to tie the top of the hat off. And you'll want to thread your crafter's needle to do this. It's just easier to do it that way. You only thread one. That way you can tie it off and there's not a big tie off of them. So go ahead and tie off the top. And now you want to sew your ears up. So go ahead and thread some black in there and sew your ears up. And you'll sew both of them up.
Okay, make sure you sew your other ear up. Next, you want to tuck your ends in from your white section. Let's go ahead and tuck those ends in. do our eye sockets and you'll need your flower loom for this. And what you want to do is you want to e-wrap cast on 12 pegs. And then go ahead and you want to continue e-wrapping around and you want to do this for a total of three rows. So e rep for a total of three rows. What you want to do is release your yarn and then you want to decrease by every other peg which should get you down to a total of six pegs. So go ahead and decrease, toss over, decrease, toss over every other peg. And then you want to do a drawstring cast off. So send the needle through every single loop and drawstring it together. And you want to make two of these. Go ahead and tie your ends. Flip it to the right side, facing away from me. Okay, draw string it together, tie it off, and snip it, and you've got one eye patch done. And you want to make two of them. Okay, and what I've done is lined it up pretty much with the ears, and what I've left is three spaces, three columns in between the eye patches. So go ahead and set that up. But I pretty much lined it up with the ears. Okay, and I find I like, this is optional, I like to put a black 
band around the edge of the hat and so I crochet all the way around. This is optional, you don't have to do this, but if you want to, you can. So I go in and I crochet all the way around. To do a nice black trim. And usually you just find your next loop or hole to slip the crochet hook in and that should keep you even. Okay. When you're done with that, snip the end and tuck in your excess ends. Make it all nice and neat. I want you to do that. You're done. And there you go. And here's it with a furry yarn. And here it is with non fur, just regular yarn. I preferably like it with the fur, but that's it. You're done.